Taurus, welcome to your weekly Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for July 4th through the 10th, 2016. I'm Athen, and this is for Sidereal Astrology. If you are new to the channel, be sure to check out the link down below because the signs are different. All right, so Taurus, this week, let's go ahead and start by looking at your ruler, Venus, who is forming a couple aspects here this week. Um, now, she is in your second house of your values right now at the moment. In fact, you do have a new moon uh, taking place in the second house of your values. So we'll talk more about this in a minute, but in regards to you, you're likely focused a lot on the material life at the moment, and there could be some new beginnings with that, some new beginnings with you as there has been uh, with these past two new moons conjoining up to your ruler, uh, Venus. Now, Venus is going to be trining up to Mars here Wednesday and Thursday, so you guys could be feeling a bit supportive, uh, maybe with your confidence, maybe with getting things done, a bit of that independent energy taking action uh, very supportive here around Wednesday and Thursday now that's that kind of action and I think it's a lot of what you've learned uh, recently about your routine or maybe about your work uh, what motivates you there perhaps uh, last week which was that Mars direct in that uh, sixth house of yours but uh, supportive with that now at that same time Wednesday and Thursday your ruler will be squaring up to Uranus so if you're feeling any impulsiveness or wanting to break free I think it's important to bring that extra attention there, keep everything nice and balanced. And if there is something to take action with that you feel like might need to change or something you can revolutionize in your life, uh, being patient and grounded with that implementation. Now your ruler is gonna be going into cancer here this middle part of the week. So you'll likely feel the shift where things are very much relating to, again, these values in the material life, shifting into perhaps learning, perhaps doing some reading or some writing or really getting into the intellectual side of life so that'll be a shift taking you into next week but uh, yeah something there to enjoy something there to connect to with the mind and exchanging so that's going to be your ruler now in terms of relationships which is seen by that excuse me relationships that's seen by mars uh here which is the ruler of that seventh house a lot of things are moving forward for you with relationships and uh, perhaps reflecting still on them in terms of commitment and big picture things with those one-to-one -one connections, but things are starting to move forward here. Maybe a bit of that uh, self-improvement, personal development can really go a long ways for you personally and uh, you know, transform and change that relationship sector. All right, so now in terms of the work, this is seen by Venus, uh, your ruler also. So when it comes to these uh, everyday things, these everyday work things, uh, again, there is a bit of that drive, motivation there to perhaps implement some of these uh, things in your life, these uh, work things or ideas or whatever it is that uh, has recently started to motivate you with the trying up to uh, Venus here this week also. Now in terms of, again, the whole work thing, Venus will be squaring up to Uranus with your routine. So if you are feeling a bit of that irritability or whatever it is, again, slow and steady implementation, I think can go a long ways uh, with that work stuff. Now regarding the finances, this is seen by Mercury and again the second house. There are new beginnings for you here in the financial sector and this is for the next 30 days but also for the next six months to a year which is this solar cycle of now your second house. So setting intentions with finances here on Monday I think can be excellent. Uh, some new beginnings there unfolding as this lunar energy continues to uh, move forward. There's a bit of easy goingness about this area and around Tuesday with Mercury trining up to Neptune, which is nice. Now, one thing I want to say about the middle part of the week, though, this Wednesday, Thursday time, Mercury is going to be combust the sun, which means Mercury is behind the sun. So we're not seeing the whole picture. There might be a lot of energy. There might be a lot of passion coming through, perhaps, when it comes to the financial or material stuff. And I do want to say it's uh, good to have presence, awareness, and to understand, too, that um, you know, we're not seeing the whole picture. And in that way, maybe there are some insights, maybe there are things to implement, but give it some time, right? And I think being centered with any type of actions regarding the finances uh, here on Wednesday and Thursday and sitting with it, I think will be important to uh, consider there. And one thing too is, you know, Pluto is opposing up to all this stuff going on in your second house, and that's in your eighth house. And Pluto here, it's also about seeing what really matters in life especially in this opposition, because with all this material stuff and material concentration in your chart at the moment, uh, Pluto's in your eighth, which is about the deeper side of life. What really matters in life? You know, what are the things we, we consider that um, matter the most? So I think seeing that other perspective and seeing how we can perhaps open up to 
the things that really matter in life and cultivate those uh, can be a good way of balancing out what is, I think, a very earthy, very material um, emphasis of your chart this week. All right, so that's the financial area, a big key area for you uh, this week. But um, let's go and look at an overview. We've pretty much covered it. New beginnings. A lot of these new beginnings are with your sense of self-worth. You know, not only on the the value side of it, but with your um, your your self-reliance, your self-worth. Maybe tapping into those natural gifts, natural abilities. You know, but all this is pretty reflective. This early part of the week, it's a good time to set new intentions um, with these values and whatnot. Um, and self-reliance, etc. As uh, as the lunar cycle continues and you know goes into the next weeks and the next months. All right, so Taurus, I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next week.